on the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. Mm -hmm. I'm Trey Vu. Welcome, A Vu. <laughs> I'm learning French. Big <laughs> secret. Thanks for coming all the way out, especially during the damn plague. And sorry about the dogs. Why? They're my exes. Damn, I'm excited. NPR, right here, my little old trailer. <laughs> Picture of me on NPR. I told Jumba, my cousin, I was going to be on national. And she flat out called me a liar, said, Dee, better slow down those meds you're taking. Don't worry about the mask. I had the darn thing in July. I was laid out in the hospital for a week. That's when I got my revelation, my brainwave. The flat meat society, the real deal. That's <laughs> trademarked. Anyway, here. <laughs> Something new for the cook off. <laughs> taste. Taste is fantastic. Nothing weird, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable, right? Possum. Possum grits. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Fresh this morning, lucky fine, do my UPS deliveries. Yes, sir. Threw in some Serrano peppers, Vermont cheddar, Parmesan, and hen of the woods. That's mushroom. <laughs> Grifola frondosa. That's Latin. Grow right down the hill, big. Plump on and stomp by the turn off. More. <laughs> Too spicy? No worries. I got something even better cooking. I got plans for you. The flat. <laughs> Meat society, seasonality, regionality, environmentality, goody tear, and plain old luck. That's what's important when it comes to flat meat. Yes, sir. Got the West VA goody tear, that's French, taste of the earth. <laughs> or road in this case, Route 16 near the river. Goody tarmac. <laughs> Used to be the Roadkill Festival cook off was the end all be all of my existence, you know? They're all that mattered. I won that cook off six years in a row. Till last year, my streak was broken by cheating hawksters pulling a fast one, flying in, flash frozen Canadian geese for Nova Dame Scotia. <laughs> We're supposed to be cooking roadkill. We're supposed to hurt anybody besides so like the Canadian goose. <laughs> Maybe they was flying a 747. <laughs> people drive hundreds of miles to this festival to try something different authentic and Webster's at the library says that roadkill is an animal or animals that are being struck and killed by motor vehicles on highways struck and killed by motor vehicles I cook what I scavenge no trapping no hunting the real deal I don't run them over on purpose neither like some <laughs> medicinal purposes only blood pressure <laughs> <laughs> I was even the roadkill festival queen my first year how I met my ass <laughs> Bambi our cutest thing in Pocahontas <laughs> County. We was together seven something years. Where's my nurse? Try taste homemade natural herbs. Put the bees back in your hive. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the whole thing's changed. The cook off started out years ago as clean country fun, you know. Now it's all about the city coffers, spreadsheets, cash flow, catering to PC bug buster tourists who don't want to offend their delicate little Subaru sensibilities. Humans, <laughs> humans been ain't roadkill since the first ox cart flattened a feral side of bacon in ancient Egypt. It's natural. <laughs> uh, waste not, want not. And people are happy eating an apple fell out of the tree. So what's the difference? Roadkill or flat meat, I'm calling it, is 100% free. 
of all the antibiotics, hormones, and growth drugs, those factory farm stuff in the store brought me. Perfect for the pandemic. No human hands touched this meat till I picked it up. Which would you <laughs> rather have in your mouth? Yeah. Corpses, animals, and spend their whole lives knee deep in crap filled food lot, belching climate destroying poison gas, throats <laughs> cut in a COVID ridden slaughterhouse, <laughs> or <laughs> something being run and free, eat wild greens, <laughs> fresh berries, and drinking out of clean water streams that just had. The unfortunate misfortune of getting caught in some truckers headlights. <laughs> Elk, venison, boar, grouse, wild turkey. For all your paleo listeners, are you perfect? Survivalists, listen to the news. Stock up. Animal rights activists and known foodies are on board and on the road with flat meat. <laughs> Ethical, organic, ecological, finger licking good. <laughs> no GMOs in this POT. <laughs> well, kill sounds distasteful, right? So, I mean, your mind can't help flashing onto one of God's little miracles off. <laughs> well, I came up with flat meat. It's more appetizing, right? Like if sizzling flat iron steaks. Some of the stigmata. <laughs> <laughs> You're familiar with the uh, five second rule when food's dropped on the floor? <laughs> well, we got the five hour rule. I mean, <laughs> you want it still moving, put the poor thing out of its misery, or in rigor mortis, I don't even know it's fresh. Like, give the board, thank the Lord. If vultures is on it, just cry and drive by. <laughs> of course some people just don't take to it fred my ex-husband ex biggest mistake of my life i served him ferret once said it smelled like a dirty clothes hamper i said he smelled like a dirty clothes hamper which he did and that was that bambi really keen neither oh she liked the glamour but let <laughs> Last spring, after she had a head on with a white tail go in the fall, go over to Tyler Mountain. <laughs> she just couldn't stomach it no more. You can't blame her. It'll mess you up hitting the deer, like crush your fender and your heart at the same time. <laughs> she said she was standing there shaking and crying, and tears running down, telling the highway patrol, and that bastard can't keep a straight face. He's looking at her license laughing. Because a woman named Bambi creamed a deer. <laughs> so I said, we got to go get that deer. It's perfect for the cook-off, right? And she said, you're crazy. Well, I was a little crazy back then. Posting poster geese, cooking my goose fiasco, bitter as bad vinegar. I'm obsessed with winning my title back. Waste not, want not, right? <laughs> venison. I loved at home. Gutted it was hanging out back. She hopped in the Chevy and screamed out of here, spitting gravel all the way. Went to Vegas, went vegan, and became one of them runaway models. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of her. I am. To Get away from here and do something, not end up roquet yourself lying in a hospital bed run over by life. Actually, I'm I'm thinking I'll retire after this year's cooking. Well, Bambi said I'd lost myself, lost my way, and maybe she was right. <clears throat> lying in that hospital bed and tubes running out my nose. I wasn't thinking about possum paninis or toad alamo. <laughs> <laughs> thinking about how she was gone from our kitchen from our bed mm. even leaving her dog behind <laughs> nope bitter ain't better <laughs> hell I don't even care if I win this year I just want to Share my passion and go out with a good taste in my mouth. 
stop. I'm getting too dang busy. Had a video go YouTube bar, courtesy of my 11 year old hacker nace. Now we got websites, <laughs> working on podcasts, t shirts, aprons, and prevail <laughs> here. Drum roll. <laughs> I got a cookbook coming out. Maybe <laughs> 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 a live TV show, all sponsored by Michelin. The tire company—they're <laughs> not just tires. Those have got that star food thing. It's free stars, five stars. Tires, flat meat. I said to the Frenchies. Okay, Monster, Ecutech. <laughs> you need something new. Expand your horizon. Think your tires is more than just a way to hold cars up. The right tires can get you over a hump and get you through. I cooked them some of my past winners. Southern fries, girl, like coriander and squirted chili sauce, smidgen of pitch and toast toppers, bacon bite snake, but what really got them? My PS, the resistance. <laughs> Taste. Go on, expand your horizons. <laughs> <laughs> Bambi's revenge. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I mean, dear, been keeping a haunch in the freezer. Seared venison with spies of huckleberry dressing. Side to winter squash. Get it? Squash. Corn. <laughs> <laughs> I named this for Bambi, so maybe she'll hear about it and see that I'm not crazy. That um, I've been thinking about her and missing her. And well, they want me to go to Los Angeles for the TV. That's New Vegas, right? Like I can take the dogs with me. I could. You know what the Michelin Company motto is? A better way forward. <laughs> Maybe she'll see that I found my way again. A better way, right? Hi, Sam. Frog nibbles is ready. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.